Sometimes we are saved by those we do not know. This is my grandmother, Grancy, and this is the stone where my Uncle Ray etched his name. He was the gentle son who died in the war. I know Ray only through his signature on the stone. For years I traced the letters of his name with the base of a pine needle. Even as a child, I felt that our family's sorrow and grief couldn't be mediated. Nobody could do anything with it. Ray married his sweetheart, volunteered in the U.S. Army Air Force, trained as a tail gunner on a B-17 bomber, and died in a fiery crash. My mother tells me that she was 11 years old in May 1944 when they received a telegram confirming her brother's death. He and nine fellow crew members crashed on an Iowa farm field during training maneuvers. His body was shipped to Louisiana in a sealed coffin with little information. My mother recalls that her father did not speak for three months. She and her mother cried for days. Stuart Flynn and his friend, both veterans and strangers to my family, spent a decade researching the crash and tracking the crew's family members. He brought us all together at a commemorative ceremony where a woman named Mary Alice told my mother about seeing the crash. She was 19 and was the first to arrive at the site. She counted nine incinerated bodies amid the fires fed by ammunition and fuel and saw one lone soldier thrown apart and unscathed from the billowing flames. It was my Uncle Ray. She spoke in present tense about those moments, tormented by her sense of helplessness. I asked Stuart Flynn, why would you devote 10 years of your life to researching a military plane crash? Because you needed to know. We all need to know, he said. By the time we found out, everybody in my family but my mother was dead or dying. These strangers were willing to devote that much of their lives to people they didn't even know so that we could have comfort and closure. It was an outrageous act of generosity. Grancy's house is no longer in our family, and I'm no longer able to see if Uncle Ray's name is still visible on the stone. I may no longer see his name on the stone, but I see his face in my son's smile.